While gas prices might be on the rise, the pickup market definitely isn't dwindling. Hi, I'm Randa Lightstone with WatchMojo.com and today we're taking a look at Dodge's brand new Ram 1500 Laramie. Now we all know that Dodge has suffered a bit over the years. However, for 2011, their new Ram trucks actually got an upgrade in the interior. Now it's not just press release jargon, they actually did update their features and their build quality and the materials used. After playing with the radio and sitting in the seats and really driving this truck for a week, I realized that Dodge really has stepped it up in their Ram lineup. And that's great. I mean, before you kind of had this low grade truck that really didn't meet standards, but now you actually have a luxurious vehicle that can actually do work and is comfortable to drive. Now in the middle here, you have the touchscreen entertainment system that's very similar to the Wrangler. In fact, it's pretty much the same thing because it's all under the Dodge brand. You have a climate control and you have here your two wheel drive and four wheel drive lock and auto and four wheel drive low for towing. You also down here have your outlet for electricity. This is for when you tow and hook up a back hitch. And then on the steering wheel, it's actually quite plain. And again, this is a lot like the Wrangler. You have back here your selection for your volume and your media outlet. And then on here, two very simple buttons that change the displays, uh, your information and your gauges here. Now this truck is loaded with storage. You have a bunch of storage in the middle here. You've got two glove compartments. You've got a bunch of little compartments down here. It even has storage in the bed. The sides flip up and you can fit tools and any type of materials that you would need for construction or whatever you're doing with your pickup. And the back seat is pretty ginormous. Because this is a crew cab, it has four doors, which means you can actually fit five full-size adults in here. And the headroom is great, the legroom is great. I mean, it's a really massive truck. But again, you do lose on the bed side, so your bed is much shorter, so you can't maybe put in as long a material as you want to, but you do get a full-size back seat, which is great. As soon as you get behind the wheel of a Ram, you realize that this really isn't a city car. It's a pickup, it's big, it's heavy, and yet this year, which is the first time in the segment actually, they've given it a brand new rear suspension. It's a coilover system, and what it does is it improves the handling and it makes it kind of feel a bit better on the road, not so trucky, not so floaty. And again, that makes it easier for city driving. However, what that doesn't do is it doesn't affect the payload or the tow. You still have about 1,800 pounds of payload and about 9,000 pounds of towing capability. Now, of course, this Ram has the flagship engine, which is a 5.7 liter V8 Hemi. And that pushes at about 380 horsepower and about 400 pound-foot of torque. That's really good for a truck this size, and it'll get the job done no matter what you're trying to do. Dodge may have had a rough couple of years, but this Ram is proof that they're back on the right track with a high-quality pickup that does the job and looks good while it does it. 